we're going to be given keys, biological keys, that and the natural order of progression, remember, because he says that all of his technology is light-based. Mm -hmm. All of the new technologies coming out is going to be light-based. If he, by his own very biological nature, is one who reflects light, who cannot absorb light, who cannot even stand under the one natural lamp that the Most High has put up for us, how is he going to presume to know what it is that all of this is going to mean when the time comes for us to make that quantum shift. He is speculating based upon what he is studying of us. Mm -hmm. But the components he gathers in the form of information cannot be quantified and then synthesized into the wisdom necessary for us to understand what it is that's getting ready to happen. The only people that can do that have been the interpreters of spirit all along, and that's us. We interpret spirit for him through our music, through our dance, through the very language, even though perverted, we have brought the soul to his very language. We have put the life into his communication. And he knows that. That's why our music is the one that is the popular music, the music that everyone can identify with. Because we are the original ones, he knows that, and he can't communicate spirit the way we do. Mm -hmm. He didn't even write the, um, uh, for instance, uh, Mozart. Mozart simply put his name on what was then Moorish music. Mm -hmm. You see, he belonged to a secret society over there. And what they would do is study the old Moorish paradigm to begin to fill up the gap that had happened, especially in the Renaissance. The Renaissance was actually going to the East to pull out the information that was suppressed in the West. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. And I wouldn't even call it the West because the Caucasoid or the recessive is not from a Western culture. We gotta really re-identify that. I believe that Western society, as we know it, perished when Columbus came here. Correct. So we have to look at him as a Nordic society, as an Iceman society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and really identify him for who he is, because he has insinuated himself into the identification or the languaging, and has mm -hmm. placed himself, based on language, into specific categories of identification. Mm -hmm. And by him placing himself in those spaces of identification, we now, on, on a very humble and very nonchalant, we embrace his identification of himself, and then we, uh, we apply that to our dialogue. And he is not a Western civilization. He is not even a civilization, because even, even um, our high priest, Dr. John Henry Clark, said the, the, <laughs> the operative word in civilization is civil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he has never been civil. Mm -hmm. So he does not have a civilization. He has uh, an imposition of activities that he imposes upon people that he meets. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't civilize anyone. Mm -hmm. He hasn't even civilized himself. Um, you said a little earlier that the, our ancestors um, transitioned this plane and went to prepare a world to receive us, but um, uh, um, we I mean, some stayed behind mm -hmm. to take on this caucus or right. uh, et cetera. But I just, uh, doesn't that sound a little bit like the Bible? I shall go and prepare a place for you. Uh, and ain't that kind of like life after death? And ain't that kind of like looking into uh, uh, heaven for a better place and not dealing uh, politically with the realities down here? Mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how do you just oppose that in the... In, in a way of uh, winning the battle here on earth. Well, when I, the Bible, again, is a mutilated version of our mythos. So if you see them talking about going to prepare a place, it doesn't mean that our ancestors did not write it, it's just that he's interpreting it differently. Mm -hmm. Going to prepare a place simply means that there is a condition of thought, a condition of being, that we must ascend to by our disconnection from participation here. The, 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 the metaphysics of, 
of a reality is based upon how you participate in your perception of that reality. The reality becomes reinforced by your thought process and how thought is used to reinforce the reality. We as people of color, or I would say the last guard, mm -hmm. the ones who were left here to, to receive back whatever it is in our interpretation, to be the gatekeepers so that nobody else can get through this shit, unless they were prepared. We as the gatekeepers of that information, we have been told or we have been given by this language uh, a whole new identification process for reality. We, had, we were stripped of the language that decoded reality for us. Correct. By that stripping we were now given a reality that was based upon a calcified pineal gland. Mm -hmm. The language is based upon that type of thing. It does not have, like what the Dogon says, the three, four sides to a particular... When you say a sentence, the, the caucasoid or the recessive looks at the sentence and he just looks at the front view. He doesn't look at the side or the back or the top or the bottom of that sentence. Mm -hmm. And that there are three and four dimensions to that. When I say go forward and not dealing with political reality, the political reality is the illusion. And by our dealing with it, we reinforce it. When you pull the plug on this machine, can it work anymore? Uh, not without... Not the without the power source. power source. The power source is your attention. Mm -hmm. The caucasoid, the recessive, needs our attention. He is constantly vying to keep you focused on him. What does that do? How does that... That's uh, the beauty of the metaphysics. Him. Do you realize that you can... Do you know that you can inflict pain on a child when you see a child doing something of mischief in the corner? And you look at a child with a specific glare. Do you know that you've sent an energy right to that child's eyes and that child's brain? And that maybe about another three to four days from then, the child's nose will start running, the child will start sniffling, that evil eye energy? Do you, the value of attention is that whatever information I put in is overloading your circuits so that the chemistry of the brain is preoccupied with what was just put in as the information. The chemistry of the brain cannot switch attention if the attention of the eyes and the brain is not uh, 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 taken away from what has been forced to pay attention to. So your very chemistry, the very enzymes, the very electrical and magnetic input and output of your mind is being constantly preoccupied with an overload and saturation of bullshit information. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that keeps coming in, the body has to keep calibrating, keep like a stew inside, keep cooking the proper chemicals so that the memory and whatever it is you want to put in your mind becomes lodged in and all the chemistry for higher consciousness all the chemistry for what you would use to figure out what the real deal is, all being preoccupied on, on uh, well, let's just, let's just use it for instance. Uh, um, well, let's look at television and throw television in and the damage it does and what it does. Uh -huh. Watching, because black people watch a lot of television. But they, they, don't, they don't watch it intelligently. They watch it as a, uh, uh, because they don't understand that it's going right past the filter of their discrimination. They have, the discrimination filter is going by, is right past it. The discrimination between what is relevant and what is not relevant no longer there. Because everything, the overload now, you've become so hypnotized by the overload that they just punched through your resistance. And what I was saying, say like you say, Calgon, Lotion, or Tide, or all these, you have a saturation of information and your chemistry is being overloaded with all kinds of bullshit information, non-essential, that when it comes to you to try to sit down and concentrate, the chemistry of the mind, just like the camera, it takes six like you were to develop a picture for instance. When you develop a picture, it's just something that's on a, on, on a film, right, and you put it in there and you want to put it on a, say, on a, on a, on a piece of paper, you got to do whatever you do to put the piece of paper in. And then what you do is you got to put it through what? A series of chemicals before you can develop it. Well, that's the same thing with your memory. Your body, 
your memory goes through all this so that you begin to develop the picture to file it in the, in the, in the, in, in the inventory of your mind. Now what they're doing is using what would be a, a, a developing mechanism for higher consciousness and learning. They are overloading it with all kind of bullshit information. And then what you do is you can't.